Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're we'll making something as American as apple pie. Apple pie. Check it out. Alright, so apple pie. Everybody likes it, loves it, wants some more of it. All right, apple pie, obviously we're going to start with some apples. I got a whole bunch of these here, which I'm going to whack up. Cut them. Cut them again. Pull out the core. Did I pretty roughly peel them? I don't worry about getting every little scrap. You can also leave them, leave the peels on. And just slice them up. All right. Now that you have that done, you want to add your other ingredients to it. I'm going to take the juice of half a lemon. Tablespoon and a half of cinnamon. Half a teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg. Just a pinch of salt. And a cup of white sugar. And we're gonna give that a stir. What's gonna happen is that sugar and the salt are going to draw off the moisture in the apples while we make our dough. Now pie crust, that's a whole nother video, how to make a proper pie crust. And that is not this video. So we got that sitting, we're going to let that macerate, that's your fancy cooking timer of the day, while we finish our dough. The dough is extremely simple because we're going to use Betty Crocker. So, in order to do that, we remove the mix. We get some water. We add ice to said water because this works much better when it's very, very cold. We'll grab a bowl. Any bowl will do. Put the mix in here. And it calls for two tablespoons plus two teaspoons. So that's a little bit less than three tablespoons. But it doesn't take much at all. So I do recommend you measure it. So. 
one tablespoon, two tablespoons, and two teaspoons. Now remember, you can always add to it. Really can't get rid of it. And then just with a fork, you bring it together. You don't want to overwork it. That's the worst thing you can do. Actually, reading the recipe now, I need to have double the amount of water to do a double crust pie. So that's my fault. Reading directions. There you go. That's a new thought. Now it's starting to come together. And it's all going to be based a little bit on the humidity in your room. So if it doesn't come together right away, don't panic. But then panic. There we go. Get in there with the hands and bring it together. And it becomes a ball. Once you have it together into your bowl, we're going to divide it in two. And then roll it out. And I always found to roll this out, it works well if you use some parchment paper or wax paper. Both work just as well. So I have one sheet here. And put the other sheet right on top of it. First, I'm going to flatten it just with my hands into a round shape. And then I will grab my rolling pin and work it out. I'm using a nine inch pan, so I need to be a little bit bigger than nine inches. All right, there we go. I'm gonna grab our pan. See there, and there we have our dough. And now I can just roll it in 
Let's see my pan. And if you got little spots like I do right here, which are a little blotchy, just kind of press it in. Fill it in, no problem. Nobody's gonna know when it's done. That wasn't 100% perfect when it went in. So now we got to do that again. So that was fun the first time to get our top. So back in we go. And we start rolling it. Let's see if we do better the second time. Now I know we did better this time. Okay. So, now time to assemble our pie. We got our apples. They're ready to go. Pile them in there. To get all that juice. Now we're going to take our top our top crust, remove the top portion of the paper, and then using our rolling pin, roll it onto it. and then roll back onto the top of the pie. Now, bring it down and seal it on. Pack it on. Use that little bit of extra here to seal it.
Now, it's gonna cook in our oven at 375 for at least an hour, maybe an hour and 10 minutes. So in that time, the apples are gonna let off a lot of moisture. So we need to provide a way for that to get out. So we're gonna cut some vent holes here. Got a big slit here, a little cross, and then a couple other vent holes. And then since this will, I repeat will, start to boil over, we're gonna put it on a pan. pretty and we're going to transfer this pie into the center of that 375 oven this cool because right now that's molten lava inside of there and it did bubble out here so you definitely want to take my advice with that uh, foil but that's how you do it apple pie it's as American American is that thanks for watching